Hey guys, what's up? My name's The Cool Mike, and welcome back with another video. But today I'm not gonna be playing a game. And from the from the picture of the thumbnail, you guys already know what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be the unboxing and review of one of the rarest sets that I have for Mega Bloks Call of Duty, which is none other than it's quite big, but none other than this big boy. This is the Call of Duty Mega Bloks Combat Vehicle Attack, or the what you call yeah the Combat Vehicle Attack BTR80, I believe that's what it says, or Call of Duty Combat uh, Call of Mega Bloks Call of Duty Combat Vehicle Attack. So this is based from a real vehicle from a Russian APC Armored Personnel Carrier Vehicle or uh basically um yeah arm uh sub what you call subterranean apc uh carrier vehicle from russia basically and it has over 900 pieces 961 pieces uh to as a matter of fact i thought it was gonna be at least 800 pieces but no it's more than that it's 900 pieces it has one vehicle three figurines and a bit of background uh, fence so to give you guys I have no idea how I'm gonna carry this because it's so big so oops uh, trying my best not to hit the mic but that's what it looks like it's quite big it is my face compared to the box uh, that's what on the sides nothing much and on the back this is what it looks like so yeah, it has accessories, two, uh, three figurines, including the name figurine, which is Soap McTavish uh, from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, currently, by the time you're watching this, I am uh, what you call playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare um, 2 Campaign Remastered, and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, this is the APC. Uh, vehicle, um, three figurines. So McTavish is one of the main characters here, and two other fig uh, two other figurines, whether American or Russian Marines, I don't know. But yeah, um, so this is one of the uh, uh, hardest sets to find on Mega Bloks and Call of Duty. Uh, one, it's because first things first, this set is no longer available on several websites. So I have checked two local websites in my country. Both, uh, did, both are what you call non-existent for this object, or both of them doesn't have this one for sale, so it's non-existent. Um, I tried Amazon, all sold out. Walmart, all sold out. Toys R Us, also all sold out. So. There was only one place that I could buy this and it was one of the most riskiest, most dangerous places for collectors and my only, uh, what you call probably my only hope of obtaining one of these and it was from eBay. So, uh, and as you all know, eBay itself is also full of scams. At the same time, eBay itself is full of people with overpriced products so imagine how much this thing costs considering how rare the set is so uh, I think if you check to mega mega blocks uh, I think uh, the original price is somewhere around $40 45 somewhere around that uh, in here it says it's $75 so still affordable if you have enough money and uh, if you're a collector like me um, $75 it may not seem that much but still for a set this big it is still considered uh, reasonable I bought this probably more or less four times its price so I bought this for $255 and that's just the item this was from the US. I'm from the Philippines. I have to, I need to have this ship which was not cheap 
basically it wasn't cheap so I have to uh, add 93 uh, I have to add 93 dollars I have to add 93 dollars for shipping plus 200 255 dollars for this item so I I have this item for like 348 dollars somewhere around that I can't do math but it was at least four to five to even six times the price of the original item when you buy it in Toys R Us or Walmart but still um, um, a lot of people wanted this some people are having a hard time buying this considering it's all sold out and I think the only place you can buy this is from uh, from eBay uh, I think Amazon can uh, the last time I saw someone buy this on Amazon it was like somewhere around two hundred dollars more or less still uh, you know almost as pricey as the one I bought but still you know for a rare set this is a mass have basically because this uh, what you call call of duty has con or mega blocks has considered this as a, what you call a collector series which means this is a mass have for a collector like me who collects mega blocks especially call of duty and this was this vehicle was uh, uh, what you call this vehicle appeared in at least in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I think the I for, I forgot the name of the mission. I finished that mission. Uh, I mean, what was the mission again? I think it was. Wolverines. There you go. So it was definitely in the. Uh, it was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Wolverines and there were two of these that you have to destroy using the laptop that has the airstrike but yeah uh, I'm gonna be unboxing this and if you guys are watching this currently then technically you miss the live stream of me time-lapse building this live basically for like over for I don't know maybe three hours or more but yeah um, probably I'll end up building this for two days but be sure to follow me on Facebook at official the cool mic just go to Facebook and type the cool mic or official the cool mic to be notified when the next live stream will be because is it there I'll be doing another uh, what you call time-lapse or live stream uh, of me building another set which is not as rare as this one but um, it's also another mega blocks Call of Duty set so without further ado, um, let's get to the building. Alright guys, so here it is, the Mega Blocks Call of Duty Combat Vehicle Attack. Basically, it took me 10 hours. 10 freaking hours, which is basically separated from uh, 2 days. I have to split those hours within 2 days, so technically it still took me 2 days, but I have to spend five hours each day which is equivalent to two days five hours each which is total of 10 hours just to build this ginormous set 961 small pieces basically 961 small pieces of this mega blocks what you call mega blocks combat vehicle attack set so it has this gigantic armored vehicle, a small terrain with a small gray barrel on the side, and three figurines basically. So that which includes uh, Soap, Mat Soap Matavish, which is one of the main characters in, in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So we're gonna be moving these characters aside as well as the terrain and we're going to be focusing on this vehicle uh, this gigantic enormous vehicle incredibly the details are all are quite nice all the things that you currently see on the side are all prints no stickers added to this set which is something that LEGO is very terrible at doing because they always rely too much on stickers but everything in this set is incredible it's big but very fragile especially underneath and the sides 
it took me a while to figure out how to attach what to attach so that's what it looks like from the side so I'm gonna be showing you its features so don't worry so that's what it looks like on the side and then on the front and that's what it looks like on the front the other side that's what it looks like on the other side and lastly the back that's what the back looks like all right so let's start with the features of this entire set first things first the gun rotates left uh, rotates 360 basically um, a 360 it involves a gigantic caliber amateur cannon so it does go up and down quite down low a bit and then up to shoot anything above the sky in the sky and then of course it rotates it has a small uh, what you call cannons on the side here like grenade launchers or smoke grenades whatever you want to call them i don't know but uh, from the sides basically this door uh, i'm not sure if you guys could see but this door technically opens so there is a small hatch that you can twist oops, uh, basically and you can open it like that basically so you can enter a figurine inside same goes for the other side so basically you can just close it down rotate the hatch something like that and then if you rotate in the other side as well same thing the hatch does open if you open the hatch it opens this thing stops up there you go then technically you can do the same thing close it uh, this is a bit uh, fragile technically there's a small gray lever so you guys could see that that you could technically rotate or just remove all right so that's from the side and basically there are there are two accessories that you could see in the trip you guys could see it but there's a gas tank here an extra accessory a gas tank and a small a small brown shovel basically a small brown shovel you can actually light this up there you go so you guys could see it so yeah there's a small gas tank basically here small gas tank and then a small brown shovel like i said the doors does open you remove you just switch this thing it pops out easy access for the soldiers to go inside same goes for the other door so you just switch the uh, switch the lever uh rotate the lever to lock it in place and then uh, on this side another gas tank basically another gas tank here you see another gas tank and another brown shovel with a different shape and a handle basically so same thing this door pops out opens going to the other side uh, all prints no stickers which is a good thing so um, grenade launchers or smoke grenades on on that side there so those are either smoke grenades or or what you call grenade launchers now uh, let's try the front this part this part is very sensitive to be honest so so basically uh, this is the front basically this side can open open that one and open the other 
Oops, see how fragile that is? So basically this, the other door also opens. You just have to figure out how it does. Oops, I think I just pop it. Okay. Okay, there you go, got it. So yeah. The door, uh, the window does open, or what you call this armor plate in front does open. So you get, you guys can technically see the driver in there. There's the black chair in the middle, but no glass. So technically, there are no glass or plastic glass plates for the windows. It's just this uh, what you call lever plate that you can uh, rotate up and down if you want it to be sealed. Or if you want the driver to see where he's going, you can just open it like that. Or just close it. This part, by the way, underneath is very sensitive. So be careful of touching this because every time you push a piece out of place, it falls off. So, yeah. Alright, let's go to the back, basically. Before we go to the, the back. So technically, the back has a propeller. So because this is a sub-aquatic, uh, subterranean transport vehicle, so this can literally go what you call crossing in rivers, lakes, or what you call short amounts of bodies of water, basically. So it has a propeller. I'm not sure how if this can go underwater uh, in real life, but as a toy, it will not float. This is not like any other vehicle in LEGO or Mega Bluffs that will float. This will sink because of the weight, basically. And because there are holes on the sides, technically water will get in and then will sink it. So they uh, basically, we're gonna open that. There's a propeller that you could easily rotate. All right, we're going top view basically. So, uh, to give you guys a little perspective, whoops, see what I mean by sensitive? Uh, the pieces are so fragile, to be honest. They're very fragile. Alright, so, um, alright, so, top view. Top view has a, a bunch of features that I'm willing to show you. It's gonna take a while. One thing's for sure that you can do is basically you can remove the top portion easily for hand access. So technically you can easily remove this. Like just so. And technically, you can see what's inside. So there's the driver's seat. I'm not sure. And there are prints, basically those stickers prints. Here are all prints. So I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but those... Uh, those things right there on the inside, those, uh, those things... Oops, th those things right there are prints. So no stickers two of them and the chair basically so uh, there are levers uh, there are what you call things attached to the walls where you get attached the figures on the sides there are two on each wall one on uh, two on this side so I'm not sure if you guys could see it quite well but there you go that you can attach the figurines back there and then another one here same goes for the other uh, other side if you look there's one there oops there is one there 
and then another one here. So basically that's what's uh, inside of the cockpit of this vehicle. Also the back, uh, if you look closely, if, if I can aim, there you go, there are hatches which is used for holding guns basically. So there you go. Those are, there are four hatches here. So four hatches where you can attach the guns of each figurine. Oops. There you go. Four hatches where you can attach the gun of each figurine. So those are the hatches on the back of the vehicle. As well. Oops. As well as uh, another thing that um, forget to mention this uh, this side also opens so basically the th the top part of this roof is only attached with a small uh, studs on the side here I'm not sure if you guys can see it you don't like small studs there and then small studs here technically you can put it back it does take a while because sometimes the, it's quite tight. Okay, so last uh, last feature of this vehicle is the back where you can technically open it. And you can see the engine of the vehicle. Um, something that is not necessarily, necessarily supposed to be high detailed but the fact that Mega Bloks did this means that it's actually a, a good set because of how detailed the pieces are or the set is basically so that's where the engine is basically nothing much to see but the engine and then we could easily close it back all right so let's go with the figurines all right so this set can contains three figurines basically including one being one of the named characters Soap McTavish so I'm gonna focus on him so you guys could see him that's what he looks like Soap McTavish so that's what he looks like here's on the side with his uh, machine gun caliber With the round barrel, basically, uh, you guys can see a round barrel. That's the side, and that's the back. Where technically you could attach the figurine on the vehicle by just uh, pushing it on the back, on pushing the stand on the back. And then that's the other side. So that's Soap McTavish. The other two are either Russians or Wolverine Marines. Basically, it's up to you whether you want to name them. But that's the other figurine. That's the side. The bag, uh, the back. Yeah, and they also contain one bag pack accessory that I have attached to this Marine. Then the other side. So for perspective, that's what his rifle kind of looks like. And in front. So basically that's the front side. Now, basically, the other one is this guy. Last but not the least. That's the front. He's holding, uh, I'm not sure what type of gun he's holding, whether it's a rifle or some, some, sort, of, uh, some sort of shotgun. I'm not sure. Back. And then other side.
And of course, uh, last is the background. This mesh of what they call the, uh, I would say, fence gate. Uh, then with a small gray barrel on the side and last and of course the additional accessories that they included on the set basically so some few accessories basically that they have added to the set which includes some telescopes they don't there is no chest involved basically I think this is for a rifle something that you could use to hold a rifle a pouch a hip pouch extra ammunition for the gun a walkie-talkie or radio another type of binoculars a water bottle and then a flashlight of some kind so technically that's at that but yeah uh, let me just arrange them again to so you guys could see them one more time in all of its glory And of course, last but not the least, the gigantic bake of this set is massive. There you go. Whoops. They do not also come with a stand, which is very disappointing. They should have included the stand for the legs, but I think this is an old set that Mega Blocks wasn't making stand for their sets. This is one of the old sets. All right. All right. Pretty much that's that. The Mega Blocks Call of Duty Combat Vehicle Attack set. If you guys enjoy this, be sure to leave a like. Uh, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe now if you haven't. And yeah, as always, I will see you guys next time with another brand new video. This is the Cool Mike signing off. Goodbye.